These are some of the weirdest balls in golf. They all have a story to tell, but each of them also offers something unique. So first up, we have the Callaway Supersoft Max. Now the clue is in the name, and straight away you might notice something slightly different about this golf ball. It is noticeably bigger than the other two in this comparison. The Supersoft Max has a circumference of 1.73 inches. Now that is compared to most standard golf balls, which are at 1.68 inches. Interestingly, there is a legal limit on how small a golf ball can be, but not on how big. The reason for that is if a golf ball is smaller, it generates less drag as it flies through the air and can therefore go further. So if golf ball companies had the way, this golf ball would be much, much smaller. This is the wheelhouse three-piece matte black golf ball. And obviously the standout thing about this ball straight away is that exceptionally unusual color. Now the guys behind this ball, they have an ice hockey inspiration. So they found the idea for this golf ball after seeing the black hockey puck go across the ice in ice hockey. I kind of get what they're saying. That does obviously stand out quite a lot, but I'm lucky enough to be filming this video at Yas Links in Abu Dhabi and the chances of being caught in a freak snowstorm are relatively low. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to look against the green grass surface, but I've also heard through the grapevine that the performance of this golf ball is very good. And last up, we have this, the Strixen Q-Star Tour Divide. And out of the bunch, I think this might be my favorite. It's at 30 quid, so it is the most expensive, but I have been testing this ball for a few months now, and I have to say it's very impressive. Now this golf ball sits in the Strixen line just below their premium, premium offering, and it costs 30 quid for a dozen. So the best way of describing this is Strixen have taken an already pretty decent ball, but then stuck this matte divide covering on it. I mean, around the green, this is absolutely awesome, especially for lining up putts. So you use the divide as you would a line on a normal golf ball, but it just stands out so much more. And then when you hit a putt and when you see it roll, you can see if you've not struck it properly because it'll start to wiggle around. There we go. There we go. Ah. So I'm going to play three holes a piece with each ball. Play it as a vlog, just try and understand what is happening with the golf ball out in a real condition and today is quite the day to do it on it's blowing about 30 miles an hour and the callaway the reason it's easy to get up into the air is because the ball is bigger therefore the center of gravity is higher and it's easier to get underneath the ball and get lift and just what you want into a 30 mile an hour wind is lift that ball it looks massive it looks absolutely gigantic i think that's only got like 200 yards loud through the wind. I've got a chip. I've not actually hit any putts with this yet. Like I've done some testing, I've hit some shots, but I've never actually putted with it. I wonder what that's gonna be like. Oh wow. I'm gonna be completely honest, I did not see the ball going that way. I think maybe having the Max logo on there pointing up at me as well is not the best idea. It just reinforces the fact that I've got a bowling ball to use. However, it is the best bowling ball in the whole of golf. That actually held its flight really well. Oh, wow. Oh, get on the flag. Let's test out the drop and stop capability, shall we? That actually felt very, very soft. That felt like it was going to spin a lot. I think out of the three golf balls, this was the one that excited me the least. But since I've been trying it, exceeded expectations. Man. As soon as I hit it, buffeted me off it. Two, three, three off the tee. They're definitely not flying as far as I'd want. Like 200 to the pin. And it's a little bit more of a dog leg to the right. So I should be able to get a little bit more go. I'm just going to float down a four. Oh dear. Like that is very, very, very bad as far as the strike goes, but it got up. Oh, it's just short. Oh, I am impressed with the softness. Feels like I'm hitting. Do you know when you get to a hotel room and there's a pillow which is firm, it's just too firm to sleep on. That's the kind of feeling it is when I'm hitting this. Wow. 
right onto the wheelhouse and that that is a very different looking golf ball holy moly that does not look right so this is a combination of saying well you know how does it fly how does it perform and can i actually see it going through the air oh that actually looks cool that actually looked really cool best way of describing it is it looked like a little bit of void in the sky it was almost like a lack of a ball rather than a ball Oh, did you see the wind push it out? That was great into the sun. Slight issue approaching this ball. <laughs> Couldn't actually see it <laughs> until it was right on top of it. It looked like a bit of mud. It looked like a divot, like with the shadow. It felt awesome. Well, talking about visibility, we are now hitting through an actual sandstorm. Can you see that, Kieran? Is it coming out? That's crazy. It just looks so cool. So we've got one over, one over, last three holes with a divide. Now this is the ball I've had the most experience with. I've been using this on and off for about three months now. And I've been using it for a lot of testing that I've been doing with wedges and putting. Performance wise, I think actually the wheelhouse maybe feels better than the Shrixen. Oh, you can see I didn't hit it. I was wobbling all over the place. Another advantage of this ball is that you can better line yourself up on the tee. So the wind is smashing off my back here. There's water right. So I'm gonna line this ball up about 15 yards left of the green, hold it into the breeze and see if it goes back. Pins on the left. Be the club indeed. Oh! Oh, I've got it rolling straight. I've hit the pace. Oh, I just under hit it. Oh, that baby fly. Callaway Super Soft Max, definitely, definitely not a distance ball. This was noticeably shorter than these two. And also when I've hit these in testing as well, actually a lot softer than I thought it would be. Should have got it from the name. They're very much geared towards people who just want to get the ball up in the air and want that forgiveness. Definitely something which I couldn't see going in my own bag, but I could see being very useful for a high handicap golfer who just wants that extra bit of help. Wheelhouse biggest surprise of the day it is obviously quite gimmicky it's based on an ice hockey puck i mean come on it actually stood out exceptionally well in this sky now if i was to play this on a november afternoon in manchester where the rain is smashing down perhaps it wouldn't show up quite as well but out here in this sunshine it was absolutely superb i'm not sure i liked it when it was on the green but other than that, an actual performance and feel-wise, very, very good. I'll definitely be doing a little bit more testing with this, really delving into the numbers. My favorite, and I would say my highest recommendation, is this Q-Star Tour Divide. It's just brilliant. I love everything about it. If I was gonna be slightly critical, why not just stick this on the Z-Star range, on the premium balls? I would honestly think about playing it. Performance-wise, it's good. It's not as good as a premium ball. It doesn't feel quite as nice when you strike it. Distance-wise, even though I was hitting some big shots there, but they were downwind, when I've been testing otherwise, it doesn't compare with some premium balls. Feel around the green, it doesn't offer quite as much spin. But looks-wise, looks-wise, just look at it. So these three balls, the three weirdest balls in golf, which one would you choose? 